Oni has used every single one of his options to get Queen Naomi back. But every single one of them were unsuccessful. Because Queen Naomi already knows the tactics of Oni and she knows how to stop it. No matter how bad it may be. No matter what exactly they may be doing to try and get her into coming back into the palace of Ileife. Because as of now, everybody is already thinking, everybody is hoping that yes, Queen Naomi should come back into the palace. There is something we need to let Queen Naomi know, that all of these oloris are not what is meant for Oni. But at this point where she finds herself in at this moment, it is better she stays outside of the palace than go ahead and stick with the oloris that are inside of the palace of Ileife. But the people of Ileife are saying that Oni is ready to clear all of the Oloris out for her own return. And she is telling them that this is the only thing that can happen for her to return. And the Ileife people are very happy. But who exactly is willing to convince Queen Naomi? So guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is Royal Updates TV, we will bring you job teach from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. After so much consideration by Oni on whosoever should help him to convince Queen Naomi, a lot of people came to his mind. You know, he was thinking about his friend, Deji Ovakure, trying to meet her so that he could get to convince Queen Naomi. But as it is, since he has sent his elders and all to no avail, there is only one option that was left. And that option is no other than his princess Adeola because the kind of relationship she has with Queen Naomi is a very, very tight one. Despite all that has been happening in her life, despite all that has been going on, according to whatever Princess Adeola has been saying, Queen Naomi has always stood by her. So, this is like the perfect opportunity for Oni to actually put his daughter to a good use. And he told his daughter about whatever he wanted to happen. And telling him that, see, I have sent the elders, I have sent a whole lot of people just to go and beg Queen Naomi to return. But it has never been possible. Because at this point where he finds himself in, it is better that the things happen in a way that every single person is going to appreciate it. But if he continues in this way, then there is nothing that Oni can do to try and salvage a better relationship from whatever he is getting at this point. Because he himself has realized that whatsoever may be going on in his life, it is all due to the circumstances that he has been facing for a whole long time. So instead of coming to that conclusion that yes, this is the only way, that there is no other way again, then it is better he finds another way to get it solved rather than get his hands into whatever he's trying to put it into. Because bringing back with Naomi is like his top responsibility. Not even a single person is willing to see that go down. And, and as the case may be, Oni is already willing to try his best to ensure that he also gets to meet Tade Nikao because that is the only valuable piece of information he needs. That is the only thing that he has seen makes sense in his own end because all the plans that he has been putting in together to actually make it happen is always disrupted by the Oloris. And of course, it is not fair if you look, for it, if you look at it in another perspective. It is not fair at all because Oni has to go through so much to ensure that his oloris are fine. But yet, they can't do the same for him. Yet, they can't go through the single trouble, the single stress that he himself is going through. And all of the oloris all will all decide to make things worse for themselves. When they all decide that Queen Naomi is the last thing that will ever happen to them in their lives. That is when they decided to fall apart. That is when Oni decided that, see, this Oloris matter. I have removed my hand on top. So whatever they want to do, Oni will still have something exactly he can do to ensure Queen Naomi returns into the palace. The Oloris might not be happy with it. It is normal. Yes, it is very, very normal. But at this point, where Oni finds himself in, he has no other solution than to tell his daughter to go and beg Queen Naomi. You can see that all the problems that Oni is facing is from the Oloris. So whatever you're doing, 
in this life that you are staying. Don't go and marry any wife that will put you in trouble. Because only now is facing a whole lot of trouble. Just because he decided to marry. It's not even seven wives. So it's not eight wives. It's not ten wives. Just six wives. So imagine if he got married to more. What exactly is going to happen to him? It will be a whole disaster in the palace of Elive. So just imagine. Anything you do. No matter how bad you think it may be. Just put it in the back of your mind. That you are doing it for the sake of somebody. Don't allow the influence of other people put into your mind because that is when every single thing is going to start to fall apart. And at this point where you will find yourself in, you have to make sure that whatsoever you are doing, it is for the better of you and your own kingdom. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to drop your comments down at the comment section. Goodbye.